Vavi, O Lord, my strength, the Lord is my foundation and my refuge and my In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, our one true God. Mm. Greetings, everybody. God bless you all. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. World War II, 1940. This is when I was born. <clears throat> the Roman Catholics had an Inquisition. Where was that? That was in... Croatia, Serbia, the Pope. There was another Pope, a wretched one, his Pius XII. He blessed his monks to take off their monastic garb and to put on a soldier's uniform. And he told the nuns, take off your monastic garb and put on soldiers' uniform and operate, what are they called? Concentration camps. Oh. To kill everybody who will not become Roman Catholic. If they become Roman Catholic, they're going to spare their lives. It sounds like just like the pagans in the time of St. Mamas. If you... If you become a pagan, mamas, we won't kill you. But if you remain a Christian, we're going to take a trident and stab you in the intestines and rip them out. Hey, it sounds like Roman Catholicism. Let's go on. We have uh, a pope, a pope in a wheelchair, who is uh, riding around Southeast Asia. And last week we talked about how he's, he's exhibiting pure ecumenism. And uh, every time he opens his mouth, and, you know, you could say it's the same with the Patriarch of Constantinople, Bartholomew. So Pope Franny, I like to call him a diminutive, <clears throat> Uh, address some children in Singapore. And he says to them in his logic, this is the logic of a pope. What is he, 88 years old? Something like that. And it seems like he has the brain of, brain of a child. Because he says, all religions are paths to reach God. They are to make a comparison, like different languages, different dialects, to get there. So he's comparing religions with different languages. Well, that's an imbecilic mind to, to compare religions with languages. What relation has that? Then he says, but God is God for everyone. Okay, see, that's a general statement. God is God for everyone. Okay, who can disagree with that? Yes, God is for everybody to be saved, to come to the knowledge of the truth, Yes, God feeds everybody, nourishes her, protects everybody, helps, gives breath to all creation. You know, after all, look at how many billions of people are on this earth. And God feeds them. He makes, he's responsible, you could say, not for feeding us. If you start to fight, the Pope says, 
if you start to fight saying, my religion is more, more important than yours, mine is true and yours isn't, where will this lead us? Uh-oh. So he's saying, there's no true religion. There's no true religion. Yours is just as true as mine, he's saying. There is only one God. Now he starts saying, there is only one God. And each of us has a language to arrive at God. Some are, now, and he puts language back into this. Some are sheikhs, some are Muslims, Hindus, Christians. There are different ways to God. And then everybody starts applauding. Now, how can a man say that who is a leader of the Roman Catholic Church? Let's go back, what, 550 years ago, around 1478, if I do my mathematics right, <clears throat> and it seems back then, and there was a pope, uh, just like th this pope, in that they believed that they were, that he was infallible. And what did he do? He started an inquisition. Oh yeah. He said that his religion, back in 1478 and on, was better and was right than your religion. And he said this to who? The Spanish. And he said, if you don't accept my religion, because I am Roman Catholic, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to arrest you. I'm going to tie you to a stake. And I'm going to roast you. But I'm not going to eat you but I will kill you. I will burn you. And now we come to our time and we have this Pope who says just the, all religions are good. He says, there's only one God. And then after the Spanish Inquisition, a few decades later, he went to the Portuguese and had the, the Portuguese Inquisition saying, if you don't become Roman Catholic, I am going to kill you. That was another pope. And then after that, what do we have? <clears throat> another 50 years later, or something like that, they had a Roman Inquisition. Another pope affirmed the solid Roman Catholic dogma <clears throat> that the pope is infallible, and that if you don't convert, I'm going to kill you. And that's what they did. So how long did this continue? It continued over and over again. Say, ma'am, we went to the Crusades. Yeah, the Crusades. They went everywhere, and they even went to the Orthodox. And they told the Orthodox, if you don't convert, we're going to kill you because we have the right religion and you have the wrong one. How long did that continue? It continued to what? World War II? Yes. But now, in the spirit of ecumenism, oh yeah, now we've really become enlightened. And the Roman Catholic Church is saying, from the mouth of Pope Franny, all religions are paths to God. Every religion is a way to arrive at God. 
What fantasy does this man, is he in possession of? So this is the product of ecumenism, extreme ecumenism. They're after one world religion. They say there's only one God. They want to make one world religion. And if you, want, if you don't want to join it, be careful, because you're going to be persecuted, I think. They won't leave you alone. But what does this tell every Roman Catholic faithful all over the world? The Pope is saying, I realized that our religion the Roman Catholic Church is nothing but a fake institution. He's telling everybody, all religions come to God. He's telling everybody, our religion, Roman Catholicism, is falsehood. That's what he's telling everybody. If we said something in previous years, when we fell away from orthodoxy and became Roman Catholic or Roman Catholics, and now we're preaching something different, that means we're we're a bunch of false hypocrites. Well, that's what it is. That's the world we live in. That's the world of ecumenism. God spare us. God have mercy on us. God help us that we would lead a quiet and peaceful life <clears throat> and enjoy the freedom that we have here in America and hopefully the freedom that's supposed to be everywhere in the world, that people will practice their religion and not be persecuted. This is what, but there's, there are countries now that you cannot. If you're a Christian, you're an outlaw. God have mercy. Okay. God bless you. Thank you for taking the time to listen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen.